What's going on everybody? The summon necro is so bad, even the best item in the game, Shaco, can't even help it. This is why. Join my army of the dead. Welcome back to another video, and I want to talk about the Necromancer, and specifically the Summon Necromancer, and my thoughts. Starting out, I wanted to give you an idea where I'm coming from, and my ideas. Um, I've been playing Diablo and Diablo 2 since I was 10 years old. I'm 30 now. And time and time again, I find myself coming back to making a Summon Necromancer. So over that stream of time, I can without a doubt say I have put in more hours in Diablo 2, 3, and now Diablo 4 on the Summon Necromancer than most people put into games alone. And I've done it, I've put it in one character, one specific playstyle, and <clears throat> I would say 97% being Diablo 2. Diablo 3, the Summon Necromancer was awful, and I spent most of my days playing the Witch Doctor because of that. In Diablo 2, I beat the hardest content and even successfully du dueled against the top endgame builds with my summoner. So with probably a year plus of my life spent on a character, how do I feel about the Diablo 4 minion necromancer? To put it plainly, I think the devs completely dropped the ball on this character. Now, I don't get me wrong, the Necromancer has the Bone Spear build that makes big damage, and if that's your playstyle, then by all means. But I'm a summoner. I want to watch my minions kill things, I want to act like a general in an army, and watch my skeletal warriors, mages, and golems go down and destroy everything. I don't want to have to stack five different dots so I can get a lucky hit to make sure my minions hit once for mediocre damage. I think the Necrominion which is the basis of the class from the very beginning, has been stripped down to a secondary feature. And, as a summon, summoner main, this is off. All the other classes have their class abilities, the arsenal system, the druid, you level up spirits, the source, your abilities change, the rogue, you have the combo system, and all the necromancer get is the book of the dead, a four second quest, and the bonuses are laughable compared to the others. To these bonuses, you need to abandon minions, the staple to the class as a whole. Minions in the Book of the Dead system is completely awful and the laziest feature of the class. The way the Necro's minions have been locked to the Book of the Dead, even the best item in the game, Shaco, with plus four to skills, can't even help it. Because they're locked to the Book of the Dead. They're not skills, but they go on your hotbar. How does that make sense? Also, being locked and needing gear to, for more minions is an awful feature. Further hinders the necro survivability even more than what it is. A slot that can be used for unstoppable aspects. Seeing the necro is one of the only characters without an ability that gives them unstoppable. Furthermore, the key passives may be the worst part of the class. Looking at the other classes, their key passives actually make a difference. Example. The Barb gets 135% damage to core skills for extra fury cost. The Necro minions, however, get an attack speed buff when you're out of combat, even though every monster walks by your minions and attacks you, so making this passive completely useless when you're actually fighting people. So now that we established that the minion passive is completely useless, the other three are bone skills, One's for blood skills, and the other one's for shadow. The shadow is somewhat useless for, useful for minions because you get a flat 10% damage buff when you're using shadow damage. And lately, I've been using the blood passive for the 10% life. That seems more useful than any other key passive the Necro has. So now that we touched on core problems for the minions, let's talk about the ne Necromancer itself running minions. If you tried to play a Summon Mancer in Diablo 4, you'll notice your minions just die, and that's because you're expected to sacrifice your own survivability for theirs by getting minion life on your gear as well as minion damage because 
that needs just as much help. Now that leaves you with two affixes on your gear. And some gear can roll minion attack speed as well, leaving you with one. Your minions are the way we fortify, so fortify regen is extremely important. Now I have no skills for unstoppable, no barrier skills, or and my fortification is all by chance. All the other classes can regularly get all three, and they usually do with their builds. Adding more to my frustration. So after playing 180 hours on my summon necromancer and only hitting 92, I can't find the desire to play this class and level it up anymore. The current way the class is built, and I mean from a developer standpoint, is just awful. I could tell it was the least cared for class in the development process from the lack of minion aggro against bosses and PvP. One playtest as a summoner and they would have felt it. Not to mention getting on your horse healthy from town, riding out, and engaging monsters just to see your minion's health bar at half. This class needs a complete overhaul from the ground up, not just the buff patch. Until then, the Necro is just a bloody sorceress, nothing more. Well, that's my thoughts on the Necromancer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't enjoy making it because I have a lot of love for the Necromancer class. I want new Diablo players to experience a Necromancer similar to the one that I grew up playing and the one that made me fall in love with Diablo in the first place. And this class just ain't it. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know how you feel about the Necro. Am I overreacting or do you feel the same? Uh, and I'll uh, see you on the next video.